Hey guys, welcome back to AI, the Somnium Files. Well, here we are, and we are supposed to find Ota, but it doesn't seem like Ota is here right now. At least I don't see him inside the diner. But we're gonna have a look around first before we talk to Ota's mom. So let's start with the uh, hey, with Dante, the poster. Why do beer ads always have girls in bikinis in them? Good question. Because they make you thirsty. Why? I'll tell you when you're older. Okay. I don't know if they make me thirsty, but whatever. Oh, it's Nasibo from that band Magnusville. I have no idea who that is. Mm-hmm. Some celebrities autograph. Okay. Disposable chopsticks. The menu. Kuroda Kazuaki shin meat pickled in miso. What is wrong with this restaurant? Okay. Uh, the condiments. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. It says fermented mayumi juice. Okay, whatever that is, I don't actually know, so I'm not gonna bother. I can see the kitchen area past the counter. Uh, the, the kitchen, menu, there's Mizuki. Have you been here before? We could ask her that, but we're not gonna do that for the time being. We're gonna have a look around first. It looks like a refrigerator. The cushion, small... A riddle. What is the difference between a cushion and you, Date? I don't know. What? Nothing. You're both soft and get thrown around. That wasn't bad. You're getting better with the jokes. Well, I don't think that it was actually very good, but... Maybe good enough. Alright, there's a post of the window. The fortune, it says good luck. Nothing else of interest though. A bucket. Man, I really want to put that bucket on your head and smack it with a mop handle. Why? Good question. There's another window. The menu. Beer cases. Okay, nothing else of interest. So, it's a little, yeah, courtesy tells us that we should talk to Mayumi first, but I'm gonna have a look at Mizuki, standing next to me, and ask her, have you been here before? Yeah, I am friends with Oda. I've been here a few times. Okay, that's all. So let's have a look at Mayumi first. Mayumi is standing on the other side of the counter. Uh, hey, you're looking gorgeous today. Any recommendations? Is Ota here? Where is your husband? Let's start with, hey, you're looking gorgeous today. Oh, stop, you charmer. But you're not getting a discount out of me. I knew you were a pedo, Date, but I didn't think you were a cougar hunter, too. Oh. I am neither of those things. <laughs> uh, any recommendations? Oh, everything here is delicious. But my personal favorite is our omelet rice. Did you want to eat here? No, I don't have much of an appetite. How's your stomach? Same. I don't think I can eat right now. Hmm. Uh, where's your husband? I completely forgot. I wonder where he got off to. But he'll come back soon. He always does. Runs off, then comes back. Hmm. I'm beginning to have doubts about the management of this establishment. I as well. Alright. Is Ota here? He went out early this morning. I don't... I see. Oh, I... Wait a second, so let's go. He went out early this morning, I don't know where. Okay. Hmm, I took my business card out of my pocket and had it to, to Mayumi. Sorry to be a bother, but when Ota comes back, can you tell him to contact me? Oh. Well, sure. Thanks, ma'am. Okay. Got it. Date, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so now we can go somewhere else. And we're gonna do that, of course. Do we want to go to Lemniscate or Golden Yokocho first? I guess Lemniscate is good enough for now. All right, so let's see what's going on there. I hope a little bit more than 
in the diner. Oh, what? Hey there, handsome. Excuse me? I cannot even right now. Hold on, give me just one sec. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Yeah. Can you introduce me, please? She is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist. <laughs> well, just, not so bad. Could you contain yourself for five minutes, Date? All right. So we are, of course, going to have a look around first. A large window. There's an abstract painting displayed on the wall. This painting is called Hawaiian Dishes and Dark Demons. Which part is supposed to be a dish and which part is supposed to be a demon? Good question. I'm not into art either, so... Hmm, the pot is planned. Look! A cricket! Iba has a strange fascination with insects. We uh, learned that last time already, though. Uh, the company's logo, Lemniscate. Uh, uh huh, reception desk. What else is going on? The monitor. Oh, this is Dark Zone Kalimas. Who? Apparently, this is Dark Zone Kalimas. Maybe some kind of anime? A door. There's probably an office back there. Where we want to go, actually. Winning machine full of drinks. Uh, That's high a stool. high stool. Why are you always thinking about high school? I said <laughs> stool. <laughs> oh, okay. A uh, high table. A uh, magazine rack. Lots of magazines on that rack. Featured how to draw cute anime girls. I, I think I'll give that a look. Blank monitor. It's a monitor. Nothing's on it. Uh, a sofa. <laughs> Captain. Enemy vessel. Three clicks. I believe you are thinking of sonar. <laughs> okay, so... Very old video games too. Um, plant, a potted plant. So nothing else of interest here, it seems. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at Mizuki first. Mizuki is standing next to me. Do you know this receptionist? I mean, yeah, but... Yeah, of course we know each other. We're like best friends. <laughs> we hang out, we party. We do not party. Hey, hey. Okay, who hired this woman? The most likely scenario is that the final decision was made by the head of the company. Renju. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, so time to talk to the big breasted lady. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. Uh, things have been pretty serious around here lately. Have you seen Iris? What's going to happen to the office? Did you happen to see Ota here? Oh, uh, let's start with things have been pretty serious around here lately. Yeah, totally. You never think about, like, my boss getting murdered, you know? Like, what are even the chances? That's, like, the odds of hitting the lotto. Okay. But I was kind of lucky, in a weird way. What? Some of my old friends hit me up asking about it, you know? Feels like we're old alumni or something. She certainly found the bright side of this situation. Okay, um, what's going to happen to the office? Oh, haven't heard anything about that yet. The VP might take over, we might get absorbed by another office. Just when I got a job, too. Man, what am I going to do if this place closes up? So, anyway, tell me, Date, what kind of girls do you like? Because I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me a candidate? Hmm? Well, I, I, I could go out sometime. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> you me. Oh, uh, my apologies. Never mind. All right. Okay. Uh, did you happen to see Ota here? Ota? Nah, I haven't seen him today. How is the receptionist knows Ota too. Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. <laughs> Nothing. Anyway, could you give me a call if Ota shows up? I have my number here. I took up my business card and handed it over to the receptionist. Yeah, I 
got his number. I got his number. Let us pray that the privilege will not be abused. Okay. Uh, last question. Have you seen Iris? Iris? You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. For sure. What? what? For sure? As in, oh, I got God. you? Oh my goodness, okay. I don't okay. believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. All right, there's a reason blah blah blah. Okay, so I think we uh, can go now because we have Zuki, done th everything. Go. Staying here would be a waste. Yeah, where should we go next? Uh, there's only one destination, which is Golden Yokocho. So let's head there and try our luck there. And it's a totally new destination too. We haven't been to that location. Golden Yokocho on Sunday. Well, I guess we will have a look around here now. Is this now. it? Yeah. You know about this place? Yeah, this is where I met Renju for the first time. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. So that's why. That is only a partial truth. Shut up. Huh? <laughs> Let's head inside. All right. Where is everyone? It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. Mama? In other news, at 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Uh-huh. So does that have anything to do with our case? We will find out. Let's have a look at the blackboard first. The specials are written on the chalkboard. Slippers and tomato soup. Uh-huh. Interesting. A hanger? A hanger on the wall? There's another black uh, chalkboard, a table, there's a table in front of the sofa, a sofa, there's a poster on the wall, the tantrum is the dickly. I wonder what that is. Uh huh. Okay, those are the lights. There's this menu, it's a menu, it has writing on the back. You won't tell us what it is though, right? So those are just posters. What's to the left? A win a TV. There's a TV on the wall. Date, what was that weird show you used to watch? <laughs> the one with the girls running in slow motion. What was so good about it? Everything. <laughs> Everything. So they're talking about uh, Baywatch, I guess. Uh, the bar counter. Uh, shelves. Yeah, I could use a drink. No, you're driving. Can you just drive? Indeed, I can, but I refuse. Why? Nothing good comes of you being drunk. Aha, uh -huh, okay. She must know. The menu is writing on the back. The beer tap. I don't want to get drunk. I just want to be sobriety impaired. Allow me to ruin your stupid joke before you say it. It's not stupid. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Bottles on the counter. There are bottles lined up on the counter. Let's count them. Uh, why? It's two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine! Nine bottles! There are nine bottles on the counter. Just kidding, there are 18. That's how many they are. Let's count carefully. Uh, ah, because there are some more in the background. There are 18 bottles lined up on the counter. Okay. What's going on here? Wait. This looks suspicious, but I can't have a look here. Okay, so let's have a look at the picture. Picture on the wall. It's a little odd. Yeah, it seems like Jesus or 
maybe not Jesus, but it seems like someone who is being tortured, or is a uh, captive in war or something. I I really don't know. Okay, so that should be pretty much everything. Let's have a look at Mizuki. Mizuki is sitting next to me. Uh, are you tired? It's been a long time since we did this, having fun at school about Renju. Are you tired? We're gonna start with that. No. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me. You just think I'm annoying, right? Don't beat around the bush. Just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway because I'm not going home. Okay. Uh, let's do some small talk, having fun at school. It's okay. Is it? Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Yeah. Awkward. But I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. You think so? The kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. I don't see why that's anyone's business. These grade schoolers move fast. <laughs> nah, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. You... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, but Renju, it's been a long time since we did this. It's been a long time since we did this. We're gonna do this first. Did what? Sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. Okay. Uh, Mizuki, we should at least have one meal together. I told you, I don't want to. Why not? Because... Um... I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. <laughs> Interesting. Really now. People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. Really? It's disgusting. Too clean. Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Oh, well, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine. I don't like hearing you talk either. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Hmm, about Renju. Hey Date, what did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? Hmm, I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry, I have everything recorded. In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here, at Marble. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemnisgate, and mentally unstable. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Let's hope so. Hmm. Okay. Dante, There's Mama. Honey. Long time no see. Hey, Mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. It's okay. Really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh. 
guess crying isn't gonna solve a thing, is it? Go ahead, ask away. I'll help any way I can. Alright, Mama is quite the character. So, Mama, time to talk, but do you have... Okay, Mizuki does have new... Uh, new options in dialogue. Let's start with... Wait a second... Let's have her in focus. Uh, is this the first time it applies like this? Are you scared of Mama? About Mama. Let's have a look at her. It's curling up a little. Maybe she's intimidated by Mama. Hmm. Is this your first time at a place like this? Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. I would hope not. You're in elementary school. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Good call. I was planning on going one day uh, when I was old enough to drink. Do you see that glitch on the left side? I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. Okay, it glitches out for some reason. Uh, are you scared about Mama? We're gonna talk about Mama first. I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh, okay. Mama's like uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. Hmm, right. This is for Renju. I promise. Alright, so the last one, are you scared of Mama? Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 65. That's a pretty wide range. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. <laughs> Interesting. I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. Alright. Let's have a look at Mama then. Uh, Mama is polishing a dried bonito fish. It's part of a daily routine. Come to think of it, I have no idea why. I think I'll ask her one day when the time is right. Okay. Mama, how's business? I was uh, was Ranger regular here about Ranger. How's business? Let's make small talk. Not bad. It. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Well then, you should visit more often. I could hook you up, in more ways than one. Just the one way is fine, thanks. Hmm... Uh, was Ranger regularly here? About Ranger, let's go with about Ranger first. Have you heard any rumors about Ranger? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. Uh huh. A gang? Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. So, Daddy was involved with gangsters. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, what else do you... Was Renju a regular here? Let's go with that one first now. I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? I'll pass, thanks. Well... Okay, Mama, what else do you remember about Renju? Well, there was the watch incident. I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up mm -hmm. on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. 
Was it this watch? I pulled out the watch I had in my pocket. It was the one I found in the oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Yeah, that's it. Why do you have it? Was it at the scene? Ren was given that watch by his lover. It was an anniversary gift, I think. Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Daddy had a new lover. Hmm. Interesting. I'm... Okay, can we have... I'm going to the bathroom, so we're gonna tell that mom, of course. You remember where it is. Yeah, outside, right? This is a small establishment that does not have its own restrooms. Wait, you're leaving? Oh, <laughs> scared of me, huh? No, hmm. it's just... Mama, keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Don't have too much fun in there. Hmm. I gave her a nod and a wave and left. Iba, get boss on the line. Alright guys, but I just realized we have hit the end of the episode mark if you want to know what's going on here with this club and all all the things you'll have to tune in next time for ai somnium files see you then